I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate Like, like, like comment, and subscribe, tell me why you wait The real breezy TV on, get that type of day What's up guys, so today I'm gonna do something a little different I'm gonna try my hand real quick at a little bit of screen printing I purchased a kit from um, Amazon and I wanted to do a bigger design than the screen that comes in the Amazon kit. So I went to All American Print Supply Company and I brought this baby right here. Um, I believe this is a 19 by 24 or 19 by 22 size, size screen. So this size screen actually is just the size that I need for my design. So I'm going to go ahead and use this permanent vinyl I'm gonna cut out my design and then I'm gonna put the vinyl on this and just you guys just got you know I, I'm always trying to do something a little bit out of the out of the out of the ordinary so um, I don't even know if this is gonna work um, I found out today that the mesh inside of the screens they all vary from different sizes to do different things so We'll see how this works out. If it doesn't work out, then I know that I'm that I may need a bigger um, a screen where the mesh holes are bigger or the mesh holes are smaller. So we're going to find it out today. So I'm just measuring it right now. Then I'm going to cut it, um, put it on my cutting mat, and get to cutting. We'll be back. Well, I'm gonna speed this up so you guys can see the whole process. And make sure you squeegee all them bubbles out of your permanent vinyl. This is permanent vinyl. This is not HTV. Now, I ain't even going front. This is a whole bullet in the behind with we. So, when you are weeding for this process for the screen printing with the vinyl, you want to weed everything out that you would leave in for heat transfer. Which means all of that vinyl around the edges, you're going to leave all it and you're going to pull out the words and the, ins the inside. Everything that you would keep for a heat transfer shirt, you're going to take out for a screen print design for this kit. Does that make sense? I'm going to speed this up because this eye took me like 45 minutes to half, a half an hour to 45 minutes to weed out. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this up because you do not want to see that. Plus, I don't need this video to be that long. Okay, so now we're all done with the weeding. Oh my God. You see, I had to keep leaning over the heat press. Uh, my shirt got all that dang on lint and stuff on. <laughs> Don't judge me. So I'm going to pull out all the little pieces that I did not see. Um, just get all in, try to get as many pieces out as I can because I need this design to be perfect. what it looks like 
I think I did pretty good. Yes. Let me get all the bubbles out of there. Get all this off my heat press. Let me get all the bubbles off of there real fast. And then we're going to put our transfer tape on it and transfer it over. And it came out really good. I'm just going to cut some of this off. Got transfer tape. And we're going to just go ahead and um, cut that. Put it over top of it. And get your squeegee. Make sure you don't have any any air bubbles. Because you want to make sure that you can get this really, really good. Look at that. Perfect. It looks good, right? Ooh-wee. A couple pieces sticking up. So I'm just going to make sure I lay them down. And take some stuff out that I didn't see before. Okay, so please excuse the background. I am, um, it's just a lot going on in the background. But anyway, so now we're going to get our screen and we're going to place the, the Vine the HTV on the back of the screen just as you see it. And we're going to get this right. I'm, I'm excited to get started. Okay, so this was a little, um, this was pretty easy to put it on. You just position where you want it to go. Use your squeegee to get all the bubbles out and all that good stuff. Do both sides because you want to make sure you get all the bubbles out. Now, this was the, one of the most tedious parts. And besides weeding my eye out, this was very tedious because it took me forever. Because I just speeded it up, cut some parts out. It took me forever to pull this um, heat transfer tape. I mean, to pull this tape off of this eye because all the little pieces started lifting and I was like irritated. So it took, took a little bit of time. Um, that's why when I when I first get this popping, I don't want to be, I'm never going to cut this again. I want to use that same screen or as much as I can, you know, because it's just, look at me. Like, so I finally got past the eye and, you know, got that thing off there. You see them bubbles in there, so you want to take that squeegee, make sure you get all the bubbles out. And I was just um, taking out all the pieces that I didn't see while it was on the tape and just making sure everything was straight so I could go ahead and um, get this pressed. I'm really excited. This is very different. So I wanted to go ahead and do this. So <sighs> let's see. We got look at it. It looks good, right? Yes. Okay, so that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Wow, I did that. Okay, so we are going to take our painter's tape. What do we do? Okay, so we're going to take our painter's tape. That's painter's tape. We're going to take our paint tape and we're going to close it up. You know this is not in the middle, but I line it up good on the shirt. So we're going to take our paint and tape. Well, that ain't going to help. <laughs> so we're going to close off the excess screen. I'm just gonna make it go all the way all the way around. That part is all done. I think I'm ready to go ahead and do some screen printing. What you think? Here's the kit. Now, speedball ink. Let's see what it looks like. So right here. There's the squeegee, but where's the? I thought it was a. Okay, I don't know. That right there. 
I guess you have to be sick of the mixer ink. Instructions. Here's the screen. But we're not going to use this screen today because I purchased a bigger screen at All American Print Supply Company today because I had a, a different, you know, look for what I wanted to do. So I'll put that right here. And they also gave you in this pack is vinyl and transfer tape. So I'm not going to use anything in here right now except the squeegee, the popsicle stick, and the ink. So I'm going to put all of this stuff back in here. Because maybe four. So put them in my These are pretty thick, thick pages. This is a smart tech shirt. I just grabbed any color shirt. Well, not any color. I just grabbed a shirt from um, Vinyl Store, All American Print Supply Company here in Philly, just because I wanted to see what I'm, you know, for this particular project. So, on the heat press. So what I want to do, I don't want. the ink to bleed through. So what I'm gonna do here is see if I can put this in all these papers. <laughs> all these papers, I'm gonna have to get me one of them t-shirt things that everybody be getting. <laughs> Here's the, I have a spoon, um, and I'm using a squeegee. Where the heck is our squeegee? It was over here, wasn't it? Okay. So, I'm going to use a squeegee. You already see my screen. You see my vinyl. You see my the tape. The next thing is left is the ink, the squeegee, a spoon, and I guess, I don't know why they gave me this little popsicle stick, but... I'm just going to use the spoon. Okay, so. I don't have any gloves. We're going to have any gloves. So, got to be careful here. Let me get them. Oh, my fingers. Take my squeegee out the pack. Here you guys a little closer. Take my squeegee out the pack here. Right here. So they say just put a little. You put some here. Uh, I'm hoping this is enough. I'm be mad if it's not. Okay. Well, let me. I'm gonna close it. Let me just. this up and throw this away this spoon away okay so first time let's go oh so
and they say don't um like go back and forth so you need to go up like this like you lifting it oh. but you don't want to and i definitely don't want none of this on my heat press Because this is a bigger screen than what than what we have here. Right spot. So you know what I think I'm going to do? Okay, so at this point, if you do this, <laughs> you know that you have to find a way to fix it, repair it. We're not damaging nothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I do best and improvise when I come to a roadblock. So here we go. This is definitely going to take like, damn it, I should have put... I should have did more, or maybe the screen was to, uh, because when I was in the store, they was telling me, so I'm just going to. First of all, before we get any deeper into this little painting situation I'm about to do, I have never been a good colorer, a good painter, to be inside the lines, any of that. So don't judge me. I don't even care if you did, but I'm just saying this shirt about to be crazy, but good thing is mine's and I'm gonna wear it anyway. Um, I'm all off the lines with this. Just whatever. <laughs> I should have used more ink. I'm definitely going to speed this up because this is going to be so long. Okay, so at this point I just said it, um, I just put my heat press over top of it so that it can dry. Okay, so it's dry to the touch. Now I can heat press it to cure it. And I, I, I only, it's really, it's probably going to dry within 20 minutes, but I literally sell the couch and clean again once I'm done. It said for 40 minutes. 320. Okay, so it is done and dry. So you can see see where I messed up it, whatever. Um, so I definitely have to try it again. And I'm gonna wear the shirt. <laughs> it don't look too bad it's just a couple imperfections or whatever but that's okay I'm going to do it again and use more ink and go from there but um, I am satisfied but then again I'm not satisfied but it was my first time so I am satisfied um, how detailed the eye is that came out good a couple little spots that I had to 
throw some paint on, which is fine. Um, throw some ink on, which is fine. So I, I would say that I give it. Uh, see, I don't know. I gotta do it again for me to like give it a rating. But I'm fine with. I'm gonna wear the shirt. I'm gonna wear it. Yeah, I'm gonna wear it. It's in my little ink right here, but whatever. So I hope you guys like this video. I am going to do another shirt really, really soon with the Amazon kit that I got from Amazon um, with the same design. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You guys are awesome. And thank you.